Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Today, we are going to take a look at a coffee from Crimson Cup. Now, these folks are local to Columbus. They are, uh, I believe, off of Alum Creek. Yeah. So, I thought this would be kind of a cool one. Been around since 91. And I do see these periodically showing up in stores now a little bit more regularly. So, that's pretty cool. But it was the flavor sticky toffee caramel cream that just you know i don't know it captured a little bit of the old imagination now we haven't had the greatest of luck with some of the interestingly flavored coffees it just doesn't really stick very well but i am hoping that this does so let's open this up and, and get a smell has a little pull thing there Resealable bag, which is solid. Oh man. Oh, it smells, it smells so good. It's like, <clears throat> you know, the funny thing is it almost smells chocolatey, but it, it, it's definitely like, there's definitely like a buttery smell in there. Caramel. It, it, you know, it, it, ugh. if it tastes even half as good as it smells, it's going to be great. Now that smell does appear to be very rich. So we'll, again, we'll see how well that imparts, but I'm going to go ahead and crack these beans and get this brewing and then we'll try it out. I think we've given our coffee enough time to, uh, to do its thing here. And it's been smelling great, so I've got, I've got high hopes for this particular cup. Again, haven't had a ton of uh, you know, positivity when it comes to flavored coffees, but here we go, Crimson Cup. Hmm. Okay. So, first thing. This is a very pleasant underlying coffee, certainly in the light roast category. It's not going to knock your socks off, is what I'm saying. As far as the flavoring, it's not as bold as the smell, but it's there. The, the, the creaminess really comes through. The caramel, the buttery taste really comes through. And then the aftertaste is what kind of puts them all together into sort of that toffee realm, which I love toffee. I think that this would be a phenomenal coffee cold <clears throat> done as a cold brew. And you know, unlike some flavored coffees, this doesn't linger for too long on your palate. Because sometimes you'll have a lot of those and it just lingers forever and then it winds up not tasting very good. Like I I'm still continuing to drink this. Normally I take, you know, a few sips and, you know, kind of let it savor. But, you know, honestly, this is just really good coffee. Mmm. It's not going to impress some of the people who like a very strong cup, though. You know, being a light roast, kind of a medium body, not like real full bodied, kick you in the teeth. Um, but overall, I, I, I really like it. I think that this is actually a very nice coffee. I'm glad I bought it. You know, you, ha you still have a lot of that aroma hitting your nose when you, when you, when you really, you know, <laughs> what would be a technical term when you go to take a sip, I guess. But you know, when, when you get your nose sort of close to the cup, you get that, that, <clears throat> that aroma rolling through the, you know, your senses there. And then you hit the, the coffee hits your tongue. It's very nice. Um, so yeah, there we go. Crimson cup, sticky toffee, Caramel Cream, this is their light roast. Again, support local businesses. Can't say it enough. Uh, I know that a lot of you 
have a local coffee shop. Maybe you have a, a, a coffee place that roaster and beans or whatever. Support them. Okay, sincerely do support them. And you can look up Crimson Cup online. If you'd like to buy something from them, they are there. There is also a website called Celebrate Local. Um, I think that's the full website. I'll put it down in the, in the description if I remember. But it is an Ohio-based store that curates a lot of um, you know, local things, coffee, hot sauces, stuff like that. And then they sell them and you can order it online as well. So support small business, support local business. They need it more now than ever. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. Now in the comments below, have any of you actually tried this brand? If you have, let me know what you thought. And also leave any suggestions for future videos. Love hearing from you. If you'd like to send something into the channel to be reviewed, the P.O. box is down below in the description. If you'd like to support the channel, Patreon link is also in the description. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.